at some time or another have agonized over making a decision some decisions are major decisions and also there are a lot of small decisions that we don't make that they tax our minds they drain our energy they create a lot of anxiety and nervousness because we don't take care of it we decide not to decide which is a decision deciding to decide to act is a major major challenge for all of us at different points in different areas of our lives and there are things that happen to us along the way experiences that we have that prevent us from working through the mental block of acting of doing those things that we know we ought to do and so what I want you to think about is what is there that you know you need to do that you want to do this but for some reason or another you've been holding back for some reason or another you just have not been able to gather your nerves or be able to work through the procrastinating or putting it off or justifying or blaming some reason or another you just haven't done it and you know you ought to do this you really want to do this but you don't know why you haven't done it we know that this is not easy that you really have got to put all of yourself into it it's very challenging to act to do those things that times when you're looking at it and you say I, I know I need to do this but I don't feel like it from acting is the fear of failure and if you've already failed you don't want to fail again the pain of that the disappointment the fear of loss is another thing because many times when we do those things that we know we need to do we feel that we might lose somebody many of us don't act because we want other people's approval many of us don't do the things that we want to do and don't act because of lack of self-confidence we don't believe enough in ourselves there are a lot of people that their jobs are making them sick because they won't act you check out the absenteeism and the people that are depressed and so there are many reasons why we don't act there are other things though that affect us is that not wanting to take personal responsibility we want somebody else to do it many times we pick up our inability to do certain things from people that we love people that we admire we identify with them and we live in the context of their ideas their opinions and their life patterns we buy into it unconsciously I couldn't help but think that God wants greatness to come out of us but it takes a humility to handle greatness you can't believe one way and live another way and be great it's going to cost you some time. It's going to cost you some energy. It's going to cost you some, some, some sacrifice. It's going to cost you some resources. It's going to cost you some hours of your life laying down, paying the price, going the extra mile, doing what other people are not willing to do. Greatness is not cheap. Greatness always costs more. That's why there's not many people who achieve greatness. They're not willing to pay the price. And God says, the ones that I can trust greatness with in the great house are the ones who will purge themselves, cleanse themselves, set themselves aside and say, God, I want to be great for you. I want you to touch my life with your grace and I want to see greatness break forth in my life for the glory of my King. You can spend your whole life imagining ghosts, worrying about the pathway to the future, but all there will ever be is what's happening here. And the decisions we make in this moment, which are based in either love or fear.